Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out a bunch of dinosaurs from the new Jurassic World Dominion movie. And I've even got some brand new dinosaurs to unbox. Let's start with the biggest one, the Tyrannosaurus Rex Thrash and Devour. Alright, here is the new Jurassic World Dominion Tyrannosaurus Rex. And it does have some action buttons as well. You can see on the tail right here. What does that do? Alright. That activates the jaw. I do see something right here. That is the barcode that you scan with the Camp Cretaceous app to find out more about the Tyrannosaurus Rex. That is super cool. The old ones have the sticker on the bottom of their feet, but now they're doing this little DNA barcode. That's really cool. And of course, you can move the tail and it moves his head as well. Check that out. And look at that. I bet you can fit some tiny dinosaurs in its mouth. It's got enough room in there to fit a few to swallow. All right, I've got two more brand new toys to unbox still. Which one to open first? Let's go with this one. This is the Scorpio Venator. That is crazy. I haven't seen a dinosaur that looks like this before. Let's open it up. All right, here is the Scorpio Venator. Let's go ahead and put that tail on. And it just clicks in like that. And there we go. Wow, look at the face on this dinosaur. Kind of reminds me of a Carnotaurus in a way. But I love the coloring on this one. It's like that uh, mustard yellow and it's got that gray top. And look at all those horns on top as well. Oh, and he comes with sound effects too. Let's see what else he can do. So his head moves up and down. We're chomping. And he's got that DNA barcode to scan on as well. Look at those tiny little arms. So this is a massive chomping dinosaur. Look at this chomping action. And look at all those teeth too. This is a huge jaw. And you got those yellow glowing eyes. This is a pretty cool dinosaur. I am super excited to add this to my collection. All right, our next brand new dinosaur. It is a good old Triceratops from the Jurassic World Dominion series. Let's open it up. All right, let's put that tail on. Clicks right in, nice and easy. All right, here is our Roar Strikers Triceratops. Oh, that's really cool. Look at how its head moves, as if it's like stabbing another dinosaur or something. It's mostly green, so it'll camouflage into the jungle really well. And then it's got those, uh, it's like brown red stripes on the top. It's a really cool detail. Look at the size of those horns too. Super awesome! Alright, now on for the rest of the Dominion Dinosaurs. This is an Indominus Rex! And it's custom colored too. You won't see these colors in the movie, but it's still an awesome Indominus Rex. Look at those orange stripes all along its body. It's got the purple and the blue. This one is so cool. It's one of the most colorful dinosaurs that I have. <laughs> And look at that. You could probably fit some mini dinosaurs in this dinosaur's mouth too. I think there's enough space in there. That is really cool. And it has a claw slashing action as well. Better watch out for the Indominus Rex. 
And right in the front up here, we've got the almighty Gigantinosaurus. This is even bigger than a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And I believe it actually runs even faster than a T-Rex too. Do you think that a T-Rex would stand a chance against one of these? Let me know in the comments below. All right, we've got a lot more big dinosaurs in here. This is the Spinosaurus. And this is a classic coloring, I think, because it's got the green on the sides that blend into the jungle, and then the red striping on the top. This dinosaur is gigantic, and they actually swim in the water too. These dinosaurs were known to go fishing in the water. How cool is that? All right, we've got a lot more T-Rexes in here. Here is one that's really poseable. You can twist its neck around, and of course you've got the tiny little arms, movable legs, the tail is fully adjustable as well. Detail in its mouth as well. It's got that tongue and all those teeth. Over here, we've got another massive Tyrannosaurus Rex. Check this out. Wow, look at that tearing action. That would tear the meat off any dinosaur. And the second action is with its tail. Press this button right here and it'll like swing its tail and hit any dinosaur that's trying to attack it. That is super awesome. Uh-oh, you better watch out. Here is another Indominus Rex. This one, unlike the one that we saw earlier, has more traditional coloring. So it's the gray all along its body. And look at those teeth too. Those things are so huge. And of course, it's got the spikes along its back. And it's got that slashing action. You better watch out. Check out this T-Rex over here. This T-Rex has battle damage. You can see it's hidden on its side right there. But when you press this button up top, watch, ready? Three, two, one. Battle damage on both sides. That is super cool. And this T-Rex has a mouth that will stay open even without pressing a button. So you can pose it with its mouth open on your shelf like that. That is super cool. Oh, look at this one back here. Another gigantic Spinosaurus. And this one has way cooler coloring. Look at all the different colors on its body. And of course, the green eyes. That's the most brightest part of this dinosaur. Those are some filthy teeth. This dinosaur needs to brush his teeth. Let's keep going. This is another T-Rex. <laughs> this one also has a button on the head that you can press to open its jaw. That is really cool. And of course you've got the movable legs, the arms, the neck, and the tail. All right, another T-Rex. This one's a bit different though. It's got a button right here that's kind of hidden. Let's see what happens when you press it. Wow, that's pretty cool. I don't think I have another T-Rex that's animatronic that moves its neck like that. That is super cool. And you'll see that it's got these wheels on its feet. So you can actually roll it around. This is a lot different than the other T-Rexes that I have, but it's still an awesome addition to my collection. Look out, I see a ferocious dinosaur in here. It's the Scorpios Rex. Well, look at all those teeth. You've got an action button for slashing. And like you may already know with the Scorpios Rex, the quills on its tail are actually poisonous. So you better watch out for those when he's attacking you. And you can actually swing the tail back and forth. Let's keep digging. All right, right here we've got a Carnotaurus. Look at those little horns on its head. Look at that battle damage on its side right there. 
That is so cool. And on the tail, you can move its neck and head. So it looks really lifelike. Better watch out. Here comes the Carnotaurus. Ooh, here's a dangerous dinosaur. This is the Dilophosaurus. Better watch out when it sticks out its frills. That might mean he's gonna attack. Oh, look at this one right at the top here. This is a T-Rex with extreme battle damage. Look at this. You can like take it almost all the way apart and reveal the inside. That is so cool. This is a Cryolophosaurus. Look at that head. That is a super cool head. Super decorative and kind of intimidating at the same time. And you can use its tail to control its head. Alright, here we've got a Baryonyx with battle damage. Look at that, right on its neck you can see it's been hurt while it was fighting and on its leg as well. And this dinosaur has an action button. Let's try it out. And I think we've actually got another Baryonyx in here without battle damage. Look at that, totally different coloring. It's got that bright blue on its neck and its head and it has a different action button as well. Let's see what happens when you press this. That is super neat. It's got a bunch of different sound effects and it actually slides up and down to different positions so you can have its mouth open or all the way closed. All right, right here we've got a Metriacanthosaurus. This one is like a bright yellow and green coloring. And it's got an action button on the top as well. You better watch out for this dinosaur. He looks a little hungry. Oh, look over here. We've got a massive Stegosaurus. And it has some action buttons as well. If you press this up here, and it actually swings its tail back and forth. You better watch out for those spikes. Those are some huge spikes. I think this dinosaur blends into the jungle really well. Got that brown bottom for the dirt on the jungle, and you've got a green top to blend into the bushes and the trees. That is super cool. Ooh, I see a cool dinosaur right up top here. You better watch out. This is the Therizinosaurus. Look at those huge claws on its hands. Those would really hurt during a battle. And it's got this long neck leading up to its face. And with this toy, you can open and close its mouth. And this dinosaur has some pretty sinister looking coloring, don't you think? It's got that darker colors on the top and on its side. And then it's got that red all along its face and neck and even on the tail too. I would be super scared to run into this dinosaur in the wild. Oh, look at here. We've got another giant Carnotaurus. And this one has a chomping action. Let's check that out again. That is super cool. We've got the movable tail and legs and those teeny tiny little arms up front. Let's keep going, we've got a lot more dinosaurs to go. All right, this one is an Allosaurus. Look at the coloring, it's like speckled with the white and the red on the top. And it's got this awesome action button. And some massive roars too.
Here we go, we've got another super dangerous dinosaur, another Scorpios Rex. You better watch out. It's got all those teeth in the front again. With this toy, the jaw doesn't open, but it still has those massive claws, and of course the quills on its tail. Right over here, this is another cool looking dinosaur. I'm actually not sure what kind of dinosaur this is. I think it's an herbivore. But let me know in the comments if you know what type of dinosaur this is. Let's see what action it does with this button right here. All right, so it's got some running. That is super cool. I bet this is a super fast dinosaur. All right, I think this is another Baryonyx. Look at those teeth. And this one is a green color and the brown on the top. That is super cool. Up next, we've got a giant Velociraptor. And this one is super adjustable. So this one is perfect for posing on a shelf. So look at all the limbs that you can move. You can bend its knees, its elbows, its shoulders, its neck. This one is super cool, super posable. All right, here we go. This is another Spinosaurus. This one is a bit smaller than the other Spinosauruses that we have in our collection. But I still love these dinosaurs. Here is a super bright dinosaur. This is another Dilophosaurus with those crazy frills in the front. And look how bright this whole dinosaur is. This is like neon coloring. That is super cool. And it's got this button on the side. I think it's out of batteries but you could hear sound effects normally on it. Here is another Triceratops with those huge horns in the front. And this one actually has different coloring than the other Triceratops that we opened at the beginning. This is brown on the sides and it's got that speckled blue on the top and even on the very front as well. You better watch out. Don't get in the way of those horns. Oh, look at this. We've got a few miniature Indominus Rexes. Look at this really small one. It's still super detailed. You can see all the spikes on its back and on its neck. It's super cool. And then this Indominus Rex has got some battle damage on its side and the tail actually adjusts the neck so you can move its neck up and down for that chomping action. Look at this, we've got a few more baby Dilophosauruses. Uh-oh, this one's missing one side of its frill. But look at the difference in the coloring between these two. These Dilophosauruses may be small, but you'll still want to stay out of their way. They're super dangerous. Look at these. I believe these are Gallimimuses. And they both have different coloring. One is a brown orange color with the stripes on top, and the other is more of a blue gray color. And instead of like actual stripes, it has just a more solid darker blue on the top. And they're both quite adjustable. Can move the arms and the legs and the necks up and down. <laughs> Oh, I see some of my favorite dinosaurs in here. Quite a few of them, actually. These are the mighty Velociraptors. And look at all the different ones that we have. This one is like a darker green color and it's posed as if it's sneaking along. Look at that, sneaking along the ground. This one actually has a few different colors on it. It's got the brown on the top, it's got the tan on the sides and a little bit of uh, speckled white right on the sides there. And this one actually has a slashing action. So you can slash those claws back and forth. And then our final two raptors in the bin have even more colors. This is a brighter green Velociraptor with the green striping on the top. And this one is like a yellow color, comes with the battle damage and it's got the brown on the very top as well. These Velociraptors are so cool. 
Oh, you know what? I think I actually missed one more Velociraptor. Better watch out. This one's sneaking up on you. All right, just a few dinosaurs left. Here we've got a baby Triceratops, still with those huge horns on the front right there. And it comes with the battle damage on the side. And then we've got this unusual looking dinosaur. This is called a Minmi. And look at all that armor. I think that's armor or those are spikes along its top. But I would not want to try to attack this dinosaur. That would probably hurt. And our last two dinosaurs of the bin. Over here, we've got a flying Pteranodon. Look out, it's coming to get you. And right here, we've got a baby T-Rex. Look at that. And it's got that chomping action as well. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today we are checking out this huge collection of dinosaur toys that I have on my shelves right here. Let's go ahead and start right over here with the Tapehara. I believe that's how you pronounce it. It's a little winged dinosaur. Look at that, that is pretty cool. But what I'm most excited to show you is this giant T-Rex right here. Look at the size of that thing. And it's custom colored too. Up next, we've got a little Chialingosaurus right here. It's a cute little guy, you know? Beside it, we've got this nice little Indominus Rex here. It's like a little baby Indominus Rex. And its mouth opens and closes too. And then right beside it, we've got Mama Indominus Rex. Wow, look at the size of that thing. And it's even got a stomach compartment so you can actually feed the dinosaur other smaller dinosaurs. And right beside it, we've got another gigantic T-Rex. Look at that. This is so cool. This is such a huge dinosaur. And right beside it, we've got a little dinosaur called the Shringosaurus. Check out those horns. It's a funny looking dinosaur, don't you think? Over here, we've got this cool, rubbery Indominus Rex. It's got this rubber skin texture that makes it feel kind of like a real life skin, you know? And right beside it, we've got one of my favorite dinosaurs, the Carnotaurus. Look at how ferocious they look and those huge horns on top. Up next, we've got another massive T-Rex. Look at the size of that compared to the dinosaurs beside it. And this one's a cool gray color too. And look at those teeth. Those are some huge teeth. Moving on, we've got a little baby Triceratops right here. Look how cute he is. And he's got the battle damage on the side as well. And right beside it, we've got another vicious red dinosaur too. This is an awesome colored dinosaur. Check that out. And at the very end of the shelf here, we've got a cute little Gallimimus. Isn't that cute? Moving on to the next shelf, we've got this giant Quetzalcoatlus. Look at the size of this thing. Those wings are huge. Up next, we've got a mama Dilophosaurus and a baby Dilophosaurus still inside the egg. Moving on over here, we've got this awesomely covered Sarcosagus. Over here, we've got this yellow dinosaur with the red top and that huge horn, but I'm not sure what kind of dinosaur this is. Do you know? Why don't you let me know in the comments below? On our next shelf, we've got this awesome looking Triceratops. Look at the size of those horns and all those little horns along the edge too. Right beside it, we've got this cute little Ankylosaurus right here. And up next, we've got this massive Ceratosaurus. Let's see what kind of noises it makes. Wow, that 
that is super amazing. Right next to it is a dinosaur called the Calovosaurus. This is a smaller dinosaur, but look at that coloring too. I really like that yellow and blue combination. Up next, we've got the Aranosaurus, and it's got a button right here. Let's see what happens. Whoa, that is super cool. That is awesome. On to the next shelf over here. This is a Dracorex. It's a smaller dinosaur, but check out all those spikes on its head right there. And right next to it, we've got another big dinosaur, the Cryolophosaurus here. Look at that yellow coloring with the orange on top. That is super cool. Right beside it, we've got a giant Pteranodon. Look at the size of this thing. It has to be like a foot wide with the wings. And the final dinosaur on this level is the Suchomimus. Moving down to the next shelf, we've got a huge Indominus Rex. Look at this. And he's even got space inside the mouth that you can fit dinosaurs in. Right beside it, I've got a little Herrerasaurus. This is a little guy, you know, but it's still a pretty cool collectible. And of course, one of the most popular dinosaurs, the T-Rex. And right beside it, we've got one of the largest ocean dinosaurs, the Mosasaurus. This is a super cool dinosaur. And I love having this one on my shelf. All right, let's move on. Oh, over here, check this out. This is a Scorpios Rex. Wow, that is super cool. Right beside him, we've got Owen from the Jurassic World movies. Say hi, Owen. <laughs> Up next, we've got this beautifully colored Narsudoceratops. And I think the horns on this guy is even bigger than a Triceratops. Look at that. And over here, we've got this little T-Rex. It's green colored, but it has the battle damage on the side too. And right beside it, We've got the Carcharodontosaurus, and it has an action button. That is super awesome. And the last one on this shelf is a Dilophosaurus with that super bright coloring. <laughs> Up next, we've got another giant Indominus Rex. But check this one out. This is a hybrid Indominus Rex. Look at that coloring and the spikes and the gold on its claw. And it's got this button right here. That is so cool. Right beside it, I've got this little Gallimimus dinosaur. And right next to that, the Albertosaurus. And this dinosaur has battle damage as well. Check that out. Moving on, we've got a huge Stegosaurus right here with those massive spikes on its tail right there. And the last one on this level is the beautiful Concava Nodder. Look at that bright red on its back and that purple right on its face too. And it's got an action button. Let's see what happens. All right, moving down a level, here we go. All right, another giant Mosasaurus. Everyone watch out. And over here, we've got another small water dinosaur. This is called the Plesiosaurus. Right beside it, this awesome T-Rex. And look at this button on it. Look at what it does. Wow, look at that roar action. That is so cool. And in the middle shelf, We've got a Baryonyx right here. Oops, I knocked over this guy. This one is a Pachycephalosaurus. And another T-Rex. Look how giant these are compared to the other dinosaurs. That is so cool. And right next to the T-Rex, I've got this awesome colored Dimetrodon. Look at this. Look at the size of that spine on its back too. And over here, oh, do you see that? It's a Velociraptor. Look out, oh no. And over here, perched on its rock, is a Pteranodon, one of the coolest flying dinos. At least I think so. OK, 
Okay, moving on to the next shelf. We've got this awesome looking Barry Onyx. Look at that. And right beside it, a cute little Stiggy Moloch with battle damage on the side. <laughs> Over here, we've got a giant Stegosaurus. Look at the size of this thing compared to the Stiggy Moloch. That is huge. But wait, you haven't seen huge until you've seen the next one, which is the giant Spinosaurus. Wow. <laughs> This dinosaur is so cool. And the final dinosaur on this level is the great Carnotaurus. Everybody watch out. All right, let's move down another level. This is the final level and it has some more giant dinosaurs like this giant Apatosaurus. Look at the size of this guy. <laughs> Right beside it, I've got this awesome blue Velociraptor. Look at the coloring on him. And right beside it, we've got another giant Spinosaurus. <laughs> These are so cool. I love the coloring on their spines. But wait, there's even more. Look at this giant Velociraptor. This is huge. It's probably two or three feet long. And right below it, We've got Blue the Velociraptor as well. Moving on to the next shelf here, what do we have? We've got a giant Carnotaurus. Look at those horns. And it's even got some battle damage as well. Look at that. And with this dinosaur, you can actually feed it smaller dinosaurs. And it has a stomach compartment at the bottom too. That is super cool. And a baby Carnotaurus, look at that. Over beside it, we've got a family of Brachiosauruses here. Look, here's the first baby, and here's the second baby, and then we've got the Mama Brachiosaurus right here. This one is huge. But check out beside it on the next shelf, this is a giant T-Rex, and look at all the battle damage that it has on its neck and on its face too. Look at the size of those teeth right there. Some of them are broken because this is an old toy, but this is still a really cool looking T-Rex. And look at that. Right next to it, we've got a smaller T-Rex ready to fight as well. And right beneath it is another dinosaur that I would not want to mess with in the wild because of the size of these spikes. This is the Sora Pelta. And last but certainly not least is this giant Velociraptor and this tiny little Dimorphodon on top. But check out this Velociraptor. Look at those teeth in its mouth. And just like the other giant dinosaurs I have, this Velociraptor has a stomach compartment. So you can actually feed it small dinosaurs and it goes all the way down to its stomach where you can take them out again. That is super cool. All right, that is all the dinosaurs that I am currently displaying on my dinosaur shelves. I hope you enjoyed checking out all these dinosaurs and I can't wait to see you next time when I show you even more. Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel. Today, we are checking out my collection of hybrid, battle damage, and other super cool and unique dinosaurs, starting with this battle damaged Tyrannosaurus Rex. Let's open it up. Here is the completed Tyrannosaurus Rex. Here is the battle damage. When you press this button on top, that's when the battle damage comes out. Look at that. So you can switch back and forth and it shows up on both sides too. This is a super cool T-Rex. I'm super excited to add this to my collection. Right up front here, we've got a super cool and unique looking Indominus Rex. I think this one is a hybrid, don't you think? Look at the coloring on this. It's got bright red, it's got the gold feet. Look at the horns on top too. That is different from a normal Indominus Rex. Let's see what uh, cool functions this has. There's a button right here. Let's see what happens when we press that button. Look at 
Wow, very cool. Those are some giant spikes. You definitely don't see that on a normal Indominus Rex. Let's open up this brand new Albertosaurus. This is a battle damage dinosaur. All right, so here's the battle damage on its side. You can see that we've got some scrapes on its leg and the main feature is this ginormous battle damage right here on its side. Look at that. Even the bones can go up and down to reveal what's underneath. So you can put the bones back in place and then you can cover it up so it looks like a normal dinosaur. And then you just touch it and it flips open. That is super neat. All right, here we've got a hybrid Tyrannosaurus Rex. This one definitely looks different than a normal T-Rex because of those giant spikes on its back right there. Look at that. And you can actually close them and hide them. And then you press this button and bam, there go the spikes. That is super cool. And I love the coloring on this too. Look at that green and then it goes into the yellow on the bottom. This is a super cool hybrid Tyrannosaurus Rex. Next up, we've got a special delivery. Let's open this up and see what's inside. All right, can you guess what's inside? I am super excited. Oh, no way, that's so cool. This is a battle damaged T-Rex. Look at that on its side. Look at all that damage that this T-Rex has taken from its fighting. And look at that even on its face too. And on its neck. <laughs> That is super cool. I really like these battle damaged dinosaurs. And over here, one of the biggest dinosaurs in my bin is the battle damaged Indominus Rex. Look at that. Just like the T-Rex that we saw earlier, the battle damage is on its side and you can open and close it like this. Well, the button doesn't seem to be working too well right now. There it is, there's the battle damage. And it has the button on its tail to open and close the mouth too. This Indominus Rex is the full package. Super cool. Here we've got a brand new Battle Damage Piranodon. Let's open it up. So this is a pretty small dinosaur, but look at the top right there. You can flip open the top and bam, there's the Battle Damage and you can close it so it's all healed once again. This is super cool. All right, we've got some more Battle Damage T-Rexes. These are my favorite. Look at that Battle Damage. And these T-Rexes are fully poseable. Look at that you can keep his mouth open like that. Here is the next battle damage T-Rex. And just like the other one we saw, it's got some scrapes on its tail, on its legs, on its side, and even on its face again. Look at that. This is one fierce T-Rex. This has been through a lot of battles, don't you think? This one is super bright, look at that. I think this one is a hybrid Dilophosaurus, don't you think? It's got those frills on the front. Look at that bright orange on its back too. Wow, check this one out. We've got a ginormous Triceratops. And there's the battle damage on the side. Look at that. The skin is made entirely out of rubber, and when you squeeze it, the head can go up and down too. And this is from actually the original Jurassic Park toy line. So this is actually a pretty old classic toy. Here is a ginormous Stegosaurus, and look at that. It's got the battle damage right on its side as well. Check out these spikes. Look at the size of that. You can swing that around and you do not want to be in the way of those spikes. Watch out, here comes the Stegosaurus. Here is another Dilophosaurus, but this one is also super brightly colored. Do you think this is a hybrid? And if so, what do you think it's a hybrid with? Here 
Here is one of the stars of the new Jurassic World movies. This is the Endoraptor. This one is super cool because you can bend and adjust all over its body. Look at that. It is super adjustable. Even its neck you can twist and move up and down. This is a super neat Endoraptor toy. Here's a fun fact about the Endoraptor. Did you know that typically they like to run on all fours? But if they need to, they'll stand up on their two hind legs for fighting or for running or whatever they need to do. Here is a teeny tiny little Tyrannosaurus Rex. And look at that battle damage on its side too. Here is another one of my favorite dinosaurs from the new Jurassic World movie. This is the Scorpios Rex. And this is a hybrid dinosaur. Check this one out. This is a little Mosasaurus that goes swimming in the ocean. And it's got the battle damage on the side. That is super cool. All right, we've got another battle damage Albertosaurus. And right here, here's the battle damage. Once again, you can move the bones up and down or you can hide it completely. Did you know that Albertosauruses weighed as much as a car? That is ginormous. That is so cool. Here we've got a little Spinosaurus. I think that's a Spinosaurus, but look how bright it is. It's bright blue and bright red. I definitely think that this is a hybrid. Plus, it's got battle damage on the side too. Look out, here comes a Stegosaurus. It's got the battle damage on the side. And I'm not sure, do you think this is a hybrid? It's got some unique stripes on the side. I actually can't tell if this is a hybrid or not. But it definitely looks really cool, don't you think? All right, here we've got two more Triceratops too. And look how different they are. This one's a bright green, this is a darker green, but they both have the battle damage. Look at that, it's got the scrape on its side and the bright green one has one that you can flip up and down. That is super impressive. Look at that over here. We've got a little itty bitty Velociraptor. This is Blue the Velociraptor. And we've got the battle damage on the side too. That is so cool. Oh, we've got a bunch of small dinosaurs here. Look at this. Let's check these out and they all have battle damage too. This is the Herrerasaurus. Look at that battle damage on the side too. This one is the Stygimaloc. Look at the horns on the top of its head. Those are massive. And of course, it's got the battle damage on the side too. This one is a Monolophosaurus. Check that out on the side. You can open and close it and its mouth opens and closes too. And of course, we've got a Triceratops with the battle damage. That is super impressive. Look at those horns too. Only a few dinosaurs left. This is the Pachycephalosaurus. This dinosaur has a super hard head so it can go bumping and headbutting into other dinosaurs. And check out that battle damage as well. Our third to last dinosaur is the Baryonyx. And check out the special feature on this dinosaur. It has a sliding button on its back that'll slowly open its mouth. That's incredible. This is super cool. Next up, we've got a super cool looking Allosaurus. This is one of my favorite dinosaurs. And just like the last one we saw, it has that special sliding button.
and our last dinosaur, the Suchomimus. And the special feature for this dinosaur is this big old button on the back that moves its neck and makes it roar too. I hope you enjoyed these super cool battle damage, hybrid, and special feature dinosaurs. Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next video.
Welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaurs channel, everyone. Today, we are unboxing a bunch of Jurassic World toys. Let's go ahead and start with this brand new Stegosaurus right here. Let's check it out. All right, so this Stegosaurus here, is mostly green and brown, so you know it's gonna camouflage well into the jungle. So if you look, there is a button right here. Press this down and check out its tail right there. That is a massive, defense move right there. It can swing its spikes on its tail and hit whatever predator's trying to attack it. And look at that, it came with, looks like it's a cage that wraps around some part of the dinosaur. I bet it's for the tail actually, let's put this on. All right, so we've got it on there most of the way. It's a little tricky to have it stay on. But let's go ahead and try out the action move now. Here we go, ready? Three, two, one, go! Yeah. All right, check it out. 
the Stegosaurus is free! All right, let's move on to the next dinosaur. All right, here we go. One of the coolest dinosaurs ever, the T-Rex. Check it out. So it's got a button in the back that you can control the mouth with and the neck moves as well. This is pretty cool. This is for sure my favorite dinosaurs. And right here, we've got an Indominus Rex. So let's check it out. If you move the arms right here, let's see what that does. Interesting, so the arms control the mouth when it opens and closes. Interestingly, the top of the Indominus Rex right here, if you look really closely, you can see that it's like a rubber instead of a plastic like its body right here. The whole top is made out of rubber. So it kind of actually looks like skin a little bit more. And look at those giant teeth too. This is a really cool dinosaur. Let's go ahead and open up another brand new Jurassic World dinosaur. Let's look. This is the Carnotaurus Toro figure from the Camp Cretaceous Dino Escape series. All right, here we go. Look, it's like a little miniature Carnotaurus. It looks kind of like a baby. It's kind of cute, really. So let's see what kind of actions that this toy has. Let's see, first there's a button up top here. Let's go ahead and press that and see what it does. Aw, so it closes its eyes and it has a little dinosaur sound effect. That's cool. And then the tail as well, you can see when you move the tail, the head moves too. And there's a button on the bottom too. Let's try that out. Wow, that's so cool. This will look so cool with my other dinosaurs. Here is another T-Rex, but this one's a little different from the last T-Rex that we had because this one has a button up top. When you press it, the neck will spin. Look at that. That is a massive bite. And there's a second button on this one too. When you press the second button, the tail goes back and forth too. Wow, that's so cool. Which dinosaur is your favorite? Do you like the T-Rex? Or do you like the Indominus Rex more? Let me know in the comments below. Which dinosaur is your favorite? And once again, look at these giant teeth in its mouth. And the neck can move too. The arms move, the legs move. This Indominus Rex is gigantic. That is so cool. So look at this one. This one is a small Indominus Rex, just like that miniature Carnotaurus that we saw just a minute ago. Let's open it up. All right, so look at this one right here. And this isn't like a normal sized Indominus Rex. This is like a, it's kind of like a display dinosaur almost. Look at that. The tail moves, the head moves. Let's see what actions that this toy has. So there's a button right on its nose. Let's press that and see what happens. Oh, so it's sound effects. That's cool. Let's press it again. <laughs> Plus, this is a feeding frenzy dinosaur. So you see it comes with this piece of meat. Let's see what happens when we feed this Indominus Rex this piece of meat. So we've got the piece of meat here. We've got the Indominus Rex. Let's go ahead and feed this dinosaur. Here we go. Ready? Jump, 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 jump. Oh. Whoops. This sure is one hungry Indominus Rex. This is super cool. I'm gonna put this right next to my miniature Carnotaurus. All right, here we go. Another unopened Jurassic World dinosaur. This one is the Shringosaurus. Let's open it up. All right, here we go. This is the Shringosaurus, and this is a quite a bit different looking. I mean, look at the size of that neck, and it kind of looks, I mean, really, it almost looks like a dog, don't you think? Or like a not dinosaur type of animal. These were herbivores, and they grew 10 to 13 feet long. So these things got actually pretty big. And check out those horns on the front, too. Mm. 
All right, another Stegosaurus. This one is not green and brown like the last one that we unboxed. This one is actually, it's kind of like a gray color, but I think it has the same action button as the other Stegosaurus that we unboxed too. Let's see if we can find that button. All right, here it is. So you press down this and the tail flips back and forth. Let's see what this could do to another dinosaur. Look at that swinging action right there. And here comes another dinosaur. Wham! Oh, that was such a big hit. Don't mess with the Stegosaurus. Here is another one of the super popular dinosaurs from Jurassic World. This is the Velociraptor. And this one is very adjustable. Look at this, the tail moves and the legs, they have multiple joints on them so you can spin them around in all directions and its mouth opens and closes too. That is so cool. This is a super poseable dinosaur. Here we have a Jurassic World Dilophosaurus. Check out the, I don't know if those are called wings or fins on the front. I bet those are used to intimidate other dinosaurs. Look at that. When those come out, you'll want to stay away from this dinosaur. One of the stars of the Jurassic World movies, the Endoraptor. These dinosaurs are super fierce, super sneaky. You do not want to get trapped in a building with this dinosaur. Here is another Velociraptor. Check this one out. So the tail goes up and down and you can slash with those claws right there. And it has a button on the side too. Right, another Indominus Rex. But this is like another miniature Indominus Rex. And, oh, do you see that? This one has a battle damage feature. So you can slide it open and closed. So when you're playing with it, it is fully healed right now. And then while you're playing with it, you can hit it, bam. And suddenly it's a wounded dinosaur. Here we go, another Dilophosaurus. I think we've got a few in here. So here is a gray one, and it's got a little bit of yellow on the top. Over here, wow, look at the color on this one. You could see this from a mile away. Look at the orange and the yellow. This thing is fierce. And we've got lots more Velociraptors in here. Look at this green one. And we've got good old blue right here. We've got this green Velociraptor here. This is another super adjustable Velociraptor. And look at those green stripes on its back too. That is super cool. And check out these claws on its feet. You can actually adjust them up and down. So Velociraptors can control when they're hidden and when they're ready to attack. Oh, look at this. We've got a special star for this video. It's John Hammond from the Jurassic Park movies. Hey everyone, how's it going? I hope you like my dinosaurs. <laughs> Check out this super bright Carnotaurus. Look at those golden horns on its head, the golden spikes on its back, and that bright red color all over its body. Let's see what this action button does. All right. This is a chomping Carnotaurus. Let's see how many more Velociraptors we have in here. How many do you think we have? Let's go ahead and count them. Here we go. Here's one Velociraptor. It's brown colored. This is the second Velociraptor. This one is yellow with green stripes on the back. Here is our third Velociraptor. This has an action on it too. Look at that. Pull the tail, the head moves up and down. Here is Velociraptor number four. This one is green with red stripes. Wow, look at that. I think that you'd be able to see that in the jungle too. So this one may not camouflage that well, which is really interesting. Here is Velociraptor number five. This one is a little bit smaller from the other Velociraptors that we've seen in this video. If you look at this Velociraptor's feet, they're actually spring-loaded, 
So you can make this Velociraptor jump. Here's Velociraptor number six. I really like the coloring on this one. Look at those orange arms and then it's got the yellow side and the brown on the top. That is super cool. And just like the last Velociraptor, this has spring-loaded legs too. So you can make this one jump up into the air. Check this out. This is a Stegosaurus, I think. When you pull on the tail, look at how its head moves. It like lunges forwards. Here is another interesting looking Stegosaurus. You can see we've got some battle damage on the side. And just like the last one, when you pull the tail, its neck moves. Oops, you know what? I missed one more Velociraptor earlier. Look at this one. This is a tan Velociraptor with green stripes on the top. Very cool and very ferocious. Check out all these super brightly colored dinosaurs that we have in our Jurassic World collection too. We've got this little green guy. We've got this red dinosaur. I think this is a Spinosaurus. Here is a purple dinosaur. What kind of dinosaur do you think this is? Let me know in the comments below. Here is a smaller blue dinosaur with that red fin on the top. Very cool. Here is another brightly colored dinosaur. This looks like a Spinosaurus too. Look at that huge yellow and orange spine on the top. Here is a Spinosaurus. And check out the action on this toy. When you wiggle it up and down, the head moves. That's super cool. Wow, look at the coloring on this one. This one is mostly blue, but the spine on the top is a bright red color with black stripes. This looks like a Spinosaurus too. Wow, look at this one. This one is also super brightly colored too. It's got that bright yellow color and then the bright red on top. Look at this one. This is a Pachycephalosaurus. And what's unique about this dinosaur is that hard shell that it has right on the tip of its head. It's almost like a helmet, really. Only a few dinosaurs left. Look at this. It looks like a little baby dinosaur. It looks kind of like a Stegosaurus, but I'm not sure. Do you know what type of dinosaur this is? <laughs> Here is a cute little Stegosaurus. Look at that, isn't that cute? And if you wiggle the tail, oh, this is so cute. And look at that, the head moves up and down and the tail as well. That is super cute. Here are our final two dinosaurs. We've got a miniature Indominus Rex right here. Very neat. And a little tiny, what is that, a T-Rex? What do you think that looks like? That is a massive jaw. Look at the size of those teeth. It's got a huge head and a little body. Thanks for joining me today and checking out all these awesome Jurassic World toys. I'll see you next time. Hello and welcome back to the Amazing Dinosaur Channel. I'm super excited for you to be here today. Today we are unboxing a bunch of T-Rexes, Indominus Rexes, Velociraptors, Endoraptors, and a whole lot more. So I'm super excited to jump into this. We even got some uh, brand new T-Rexes that I just bought that we're gonna check out as well. So I'm super excited. Let's go ahead and dive in.
Want to see more dino videos? Click the subscribe button now.